but you, when you talked about, when you introduced this film, that you wanted to start a conversation. And what came first? Did you have a conversation and then you come your story? Or did you have this film in mind and realize that was a way to start a conversation? I don't know. I think, you know, part of it is, you know, because in many ways, as much as I wanted to tell a very specific story, um, also the impetus of the film came out of the fact that, like, I was in film school, you know, watching these movies that came out of the sort of black smart house renaissance of the late 80s, early 90s, and wondering, like, where were those movies at? Like, why weren't those movies in theaters still? Because they made money and people went to see them. and. I, I, you know, I wanted to make a movie that left me the way that School Days or Do the Right Thing or Hollywood Shuffle left me, you know, with questions and something to talk about and, and, and endings that weren't easy to digest and, and, you know, leaving me feeling some type of way, you know what I mean? I wanted, I, that, you know, they tell you uh, oftentimes, you know, advice to screenwriters is to write, you know, start with how you want the audience to feel. And that's how I wanted to feel at the end of my own, you know, movie. So that feeling was there from the beginning, like the sense that I wanted to sort of leave people with a question mark of some kind. Yeah. And 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 many like great questions. I mean, I found, and what I really love about it is there are still questions. I mean, you didn't answer stuff. You really asked the questions, which is great. Let me just try to pull everybody else in here, at least for a moment, and certainly the producers. And when did you come on board? And you know, how early in the production or late? Um, yeah, I came on, um, well, unofficially I came on, I think, rather early, because Justin was working on a version of the script in a writer's group that we were in together, and so it was something that, you know, I was aware of, that I gave notes on, and really tried to sort of push him towards working on further, um, and then life sort of took us on paths and avenues and what have you, and then, um, I was about two and a half-ish years ago, two years ago? Like two years ago. He, a while ago. Yeah, two years and some change, he came to me and said, really yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just came up and said, you know what, I, I think it's time, and he approached me and Lena Waith and Ann Lee, who are two of our other producers, and said, I wanna figure out how to make this movie, will you guys help me, and let's make this concept trailer. He had this vision for, you know, we have to sort of create the movement first, and you know, Justin is a marketing genius as well, he's a great filmmaker, and so that was a part of it as well, and so we got together and made this concept trailer over a weekend, and um, you know, put it online, and it caught fire, and then really it just sort of moved, and over the course of a year, we, you know, tried to raise the money, and met with studios, what have you, and then, um, Thankfully, the amazing Julie Lebedev came on board, and who we're all friends as well as sort of colleagues. So, you know, Julie came on board and, and agreed to finance the movie with her company, and and we were making a movie a couple months later, and seven months later, eight months later, we sit here before you. <laughs> it was an amazing, well, amazing. That's 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 really sort of an amazing journey for all of you, and then, and then you brought yourself in. Yeah, it's interesting because um, actually, Justin, you did you you did work as a marketer publicist for um, at least one studio. That I know. Some studios. <laughs> yeah, so we got some of your. You know, you, we had a little reunion People, outside. Yeah. yeah. Um, and and I think it's. What a great experience, because how smart the way you guys pulled it all together and, and this whole idea, I think it was great. All right, let's just pull you guys in, our actors down here, and then and then we'll get out there to everybody. Um, but I just, yeah, I want to talk to you too, also about like your experience in, in working on this thing. You have this script, and um, was there also, was there a collaborative process at that point, or was he a very stern, you know, taskmaster, and you had to do exactly what he said. Just. You know. Justin's the Zen master. He's very, he's so lovely to work with. <laughs> no, that's true. That's why too though. No, like Justin it was it was just so the clearly, man. It was so short though, it sounded like <laughs> it was so clearly in his mind exactly how he wanted things and that gave I think such freedom to everyone and a, like a comfort because he was so she was so specific about what he wanted that I think I don't know. I think my whole direction was just to not speak like I have cornbread stuffed in the back of my throat. Um, but, I, <laughs> um, 
No, I, I continue to say this. Uh, we've been able to work with many different directors, and Justin being a first time one is honestly one of the best uh, directors that I have worked with uh, compared to other directors who have done this for years. You know, he's, he's so jaded and he has a fresh approach uh, to this, as you can see. So, <laughs> bow down. <laughs> Um, Tessa. Hi, Tessa. Hi, everybody. Um, yes, those, those, but all of those things are true. But they, but, but no, no, no. That is not shade. That is not, that is not shade. No, Justin's amazing. But um, it, he, he, it was, but it's very specific. You know, like the pieces, the the text is really specific. So there wasn't. I mean, there was room to to give a, a real interpretation, but. As much as you want to feel like these people are living, breathing entities, it's also a movie that's a think piece, and and all of the characters are really mouthpieces for for very specific ideas. And so, I felt like more than other pieces that I've done, it reminded me of doing theater. It reminded me of doing Shakespeare in the sense that there was a cadence, there was a the, it wanted to move and and clip, and there was something specific. So it wasn't necessarily imposed by Justin, but me. I felt like there was a there was a right way to approach the material, and there was a way that was not right for for the, the site material. So, so to say that it was like, a, you know, it was breezy because we had fun, but it was challenging because it was not the kind of piece that comes along every so often. It's it's very modern and of the time, but it's it's stylized. I mean, he was like, okay, watch Network. Okay, watch, uh, it, we're stealing from Bergman, you know? I mean, it wasn't like the, the source material that we were taking from was not easy stuff. You'd sit down and be like, okay, so you want, okay, so my character is kind of like Alex in a clockwork orange? <laughs> cool, I know exactly what that means, <laughs> you know? Um, so no, I, I will not say it was easy, but it doesn't mean he's not easy. He's really a cheap date. <laughs> it's true. It's real easy. Okay, let's see comments, questions, etc. from out here. Okay, right there. Uh, yeah, so it was a very large movie. There were a lot of speaking roles, a lot of different characters, a lot of locations. You really built a very uh, textured, expansive world. I was curious about your decision-making process, what choices you made when you were developing the story. Was it smaller and centered on one area and then it sort of grew out, or was it even bigger and you carried it down to its part? It was a lot bigger. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to repeat basically the question, so every in the back in here. It's a, it's a question about, the, it's a very large film, and it's really a question for Justin about if he started with the whole large concept and worked his way down, or started with a simple concept and worked his way out. It was, it was a lot larger. I mean, I'm really, you know, inspired by these multi-protagonist movies, you know, things like Nashville and um, Fame and Election and School Days and Do the Right Thing, you know, these movies I sort of talked about before, um, all of which, with the exception of Do the Right Thing, are actually very, you know, there's 10 characters that you're sort of tracking uh, various narratives, and the first few versions of it were a lot more <laughs> like a Nashville, where you had 10 characters who each had their own story that we were following, and they just happened to just be happening in the same place. And when I realized no one was gonna give me enough money to shoot something like that, you know, I decided I better fix the head and make it you know, a little more streamlined. And so whittling it down to four characters, and I mean, you guys need to hear all about structure and all that, that crap, but I, you know, there's, there's different ways to do a multi-protagonist movie. And um, you know, I, I sort of found a, a way to do it you know, for a budget that I could, you know, potentially raise, and and that's sort of what what made it to the screen. But but certainly, I mean, as you can attest, when it was back when it was something called Two Percent, which was the, the working title of it, um, there were a lot more characters <laughs> and a lot less happening somehow. So. 